Welcome to Tile Mart's part two on grout episode. I'm Julie Ireland, a design architect and the founder of Home Renovation School. Today, we're gonna have some DIY fun and teach you how to grout tile with both blended and contrasting grout. Joining me today is a very special guest, Ian O'Connor. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. So tell us a little bit about what you do at Custom Building Products. So I am a product manager. I cover our grout, our waterproofing, and our care lines. Prior to that, I was a scientist for Custom Building Products, developing grout specifically. A scientist. And we have a scientist teaching us how to grout. How cool is that? Before we get started grouting here, we need to obviously have supplies. What is the list of supplies that we need? We have a lot of stuff on the table here. We have several sponges right here. They're all a little bit different. They function a little yep. differently. What I'm looking for is something that can really resist the, the force of my hand as I'm going to use this to clean up our grout. There's also a scrub sponge. Just in case you go a little too far, you leave your grout on your face of your tile too long, you can come back and scrub still be able off. to scrub that off. This yep. is a two-in-one sponge, folks. Yep. I kind of like this one. Yep. Next, we have our margin trowel. So this is a mixing tool, okay, mm -hmm. um, for hand mixing your powder and your water for cement okay. grouts. It's also useful for placing grout as you go through your project and you install it. We also right. have, most importantly, a grout float. That'll help you to actually compress and push that grout into those grout joints. And then we need grout. Do you do need grout? <laughs> what color are we gonna do? So I think today we're gonna look at Cape Gray. So Cape Gray is this color right here. So you can see we're gonna do a contrasting grout. We're gonna actually show you how to do that. Now tell us a little bit about the consistency. How do you know how much grout to actually put in the bucket? So what we're looking for is a peanut butter consistency. You don't want it too loose and sloppy and runny. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't want it too stiff and dry because that becomes very challenging to actually compress and get into your grout joint. Okay. All grouts have specified amounts of water versus mm -hmm. how much powder is mixed together. This particular grout comes in a 25 pound mm -hmm. bag. It's a sanded grout. And for each 25 pound bag, we're talking about adding two quarts of water, roughly, okay? okay. Plus or minus, there's a little leeway. Love it. All right, let's get grouting. I'm gonna go ahead and add our water to our powdered grout. Okay, I'm gonna start with a portion of this. Okay. Take my margin trowel and go ahead and start mixing this together. I wanna make sure that I mix it completely and don't leave any dry bits. Okay. Okay, so you see it's too stiff, not yep. enough water there yet. A little water. You need some more water. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And as we go and mix, what we're gonna see is that it's gonna come together quickly and you can easily overshoot. So you don't wanna to add too much water in there. Right, it's kinda of like, like making cookie dough. Yeah, like, so right? I say I'm a scientist, but at the end of the day, I play with mud and paste. Right, exactly. So we're right about at that peanut butter consistency. Yeah. Right? What we're gonna be doing next is actually, we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna okay. let it sit for five minutes. It has to slake. Slake? It's an invented term by slake. our industry. Okay. <laughs> Today we're gonna pretend that we allow this to slake and sit for five minutes. Okay. We're but we're not gonna do that. Right. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of this pail and we're gonna go ahead and spread this grout onto you know, this tile board, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of grout. Awesome. Place it. All right. Love it. Take my grout float. We don't yeah. want our, our grout float to be vertical because it's not really gonna push anything into the joints. That we actually sense. wanna have it down at an angle, not super low where you're just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. spreading the, the surface of the tile, but you actually have it compressed down at a nice comfortable 45 degree angle. Okay. So I'm gonna push a little grout in, okay? And keep working that. And so you can use that long side mm -hmm. of the float mm -hmm. or alternatively, you can actually use the end of that grout float too. Okay. okay? and go ahead and get into all the edges and details. This is kind of an interesting float in that it has mm -hmm. a square edge. You can get really close, tight into corners, okay. or it has a rounded edge, right? So ah. you, you have a little bit of flexibility on, on how you use this tool, okay? So we're gonna try to strike the surface of that tile panel. Okay. Okay, and what I mean by that is I'm going to now lift my grout float up mm -hmm. and pull that across so it cleans and takes off the majority Got it. Right. of that grout, okay? Yep. Do the same thing here. We're trying to leave our grout joints full with grout, right? So these are relatively full right. and, and even, okay? And at this point, we're gonna wait again. Okay. So cement grout requires time for it to hydrate for all the chemicals, the polymers, mm -hmm. the cellulose, there's different materials and they have to activate in that water, okay? That's part of that slaking process that I talked about. 
we'll imagine that we've let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes typically. Yep. It depends on how humid the environment is. I'm gonna just gently dab my finger mm -hmm. on the surface of that grout and it still is transferring little, to my fingertip. Yep, and so it's not quite ready, but we're yeah. gonna go ahead and move on as though it is. Okay, okay, okay perfect. All right. I have a little water cool. bucket here with me. All right, and then I have my hydro sponge. This is actually my preferred version of this. All right, so I'm gonna have just a little bit of water in this sponge. We don't want it totally sopping wet, but just, right. you know, there's a little bit of weight in oh, there. Oh yeah, right? can you just feel that? A, yeah, just a little bit. Just yeah. moderate, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're going to work in circular motions, trying to keep our sponge as flat as possible on the surface of that tile. And so while we're doing this, we're trying to make sure that we remove a little bit of grout from those grout joints. Right. Okay, as well as taking it off of the face of the tile. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for exactly where the edge of the tile is and bringing that down to something that's gonna leave a very consistent. Nice and level, yep, right. Nice and level, so it's yeah. very thick right here and it's a little thin right here, right? So right. we wanna work on this little section, okay? Got it. And still trying to work in circular motions as best we can. And I'm bringing that down to the edge of the tile so I have a nice consistent finish. This is like art. It this is. is like, it's kind it of is. therapeutic in a way, I think. And then once you've attained that, you have mm -hmm. a nice, mm -hmm. smooth and consistent edge of your tile. Right. You're gonna get a clean sponge and pass that across diagonally again. I love with it. With as much force as you can, really. You're yeah. trying to compress that sponge against the surface of that tile. Right. And pull that excess off. Wow, that's okay. looking pretty good. So what's gonna be left here is there's gonna be a little tiny film of cement and the other dust that's in here and that can just be pulled off once it's dry with just a cheesecloth or microfiber towel or something like that. We don't need to do any cleaning or any, use any products, but it just needs to be effectively dry buffed to finish it. That's awesome. That's it. That is awesome. I do have a couple pre-grouted samples just to show you guys. So this is obviously grout that blends and we are doing a contrasting grout. Here is one, just so you can kind of see, that mm -hmm. we've taken a white tile and grouted with black. You guys have seen me do this in my own design. When you use a contrasting grout, the tile really pops. And other times, you want it to blend like mm -hmm. this, especially like when you're using large format tile. You want it to blend and look like one piece. In the field, we'll see a lot of detail areas will have contrasting colors. Right. Whereas your large spans, a, a broad room, mm -hmm. is gonna have a more muted or similar tone within that tile. Yeah, exactly. Ian, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We're gonna dive deeper into grout in our next two grout episodes, so stay connected. And remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more design and DIY tips to help guide you on all of your design and build projects. Bye for now. <laughs>